ready to jam against. Force of Wilco. Uh, what deck do we want for the last one? Yes, status. Thanks for the thanks for the match. Thanks for soundly, soundly whomping me with what looked like my own deck. Not now. It's too early. And elusive hunter three. Thanks for thanks for following. We got votes for lots of different things. I'm gonna put some weight on scape shift since we played every other deck twice so far. So if a few people want shift, I'm just gonna roll a shift. All right, gonna gonna go shift. Nice way to end it. Keep keep up the diversity in deck choice. Keep everyone guessing on what I'm gonna play. hand is pretty good if this negate was a land i'd be happier but definitely definitely keep in this one nice that's awesome to hear that it was relatively inexpensive at least i love that list it was it was so much fun to play I know Graham really enjoyed it as well. Huh. For some reason, I think this is high tide, but uh, I could be wrong. Something just tells me it's high tide. Yeah, Graham Graham drew some uh some powerful hands with that deck. Don't know why. I think I immediately thought this was high tide, but just just the Bloodstained Mire into Underground Sea immediately made me think it was high tide and then they played Preordain, which also makes me think it's high tide. Nice spawn of Haster. Uh, yeah, Australian Highlander seems sweet. Sure, I'll I'll, I'll check uh, status. Thanks for thanks for heads up. I will invite you. There, hopefully, hopefully that worked. All right, not high tide. Unfortunately, can't counter the Sylvan Library, but. Hmm. I'm just going to get this Jason to play. Try to get us a better shot at hitting some land drops. Worst case, we can play Secure Chive Elder next turn and hopefully it'll land drop that way, so. Nice, Legator. Thanks for thanks for checking out the, the stream. Much appreciated. Yeah, Australian Highlander in relation to Canadian Highlander is similar, except they play with 60 cards, a 15 card sideboard, and a different points list. Canadian Highlander is is more recent than both European Highlander and Australian Highlander. I'm not 
I'm not certain which is uh which came first between those two. Australian was before Canadian by a couple of years, I think, but I'm not certain beyond beyond that. So this game isn't going ideally for us, but at least we drew a land there. This is another example where our opponent should now figure out that we're on scape shift, assuming they've they've been watching the stream a little bit. Or at least assume that we're not on an aggressive deck, even if they don't know the exact deck we're playing. And they should be more aggressive with their Sylvan Library here. I think they should be drawing at least one extra card. <coughs> Excuse me. Search for Azkanta. Wish I could counter that one too. Our opponent's actually starting to run out of cards, but. Yeah, you, you still need a minimum of, of seven lands to to win with scape shift, so it it doesn't actually speed up the scape shift clock that that much. Awesome round table, that's a good find for sure. Don't you spell pierce me. Looks like they might be trying to counter the, the Sky Shark claim, which at this point isn't the worst. I'd prefer it to resolve, but. Hmm. Trying to decide if I just want a mystical for scape shift now. Probably not. Hold off for now. Have I read The Art of War? Uh, I have. I have a a chess and and poker background, so I uh, I have read many strategy based books and uh articles, etc. I still think they should be getting aggressive with the Sylvan Library, but yeah, that's better. Field of Ruin. That's slightly annoying. So Field of Ruin can actually hinder my scape shift plans by one turn. If I choose to sacrifice this mountain, now it means I... Oh no, I don't have a second mountain anyway, so it can hinder my scape shift plans by a turn if they leave it open. I'm just gonna get this while the, the getting's good. Why is it that the most interesting people play poker? Uh, it's an interesting game, I think. I talked about that four color thief deck recently any suggestions 
um, uh, play the thieves draw sevens and ways to ways to break the symmetry. <laughs> it is a Jer stream, maybe Terra. Uh, just just the very end of it, we're closing up soon, but you know, some some is better than none. For sure, yeah. I'll try to get it on YouTube, but don't know if I'll have time. I have dinner dinner plans with my my parents and grandma tonight, so depends how how late those go. Um I'm going to try to evasive action this spell seeker. I don't know what it's getting. It looks like they're just a value bug deck. They might be on Yeah. I really don't know what what they're they're playing honestly. Has anyone played a deck with Is it Guild Mage? I don't think so, but I could be could be mistaken. I'm gonna get Underground C, and I don't want a Mystical for Scape Shift yet because I couldn't cast it anyways. But all right, now we're in. We're one land off being able to Scape Shift as long as they hold up this Field of Ruin. We need one extra land because all our lands would enter at the same time. And then if they blew up one of our mountains in response to, with all the other Valakid triggers on the stack, they would uh they would fizzle all the other all the other triggers and we'd only only one would resolve properly. Oops, gotta gotta switch up the deck. There we go. There's the proper deck list for anyone trying to trying to find it. So they are just leaving up their field of ruin. I still think they should be being aggressive with the Sylvan Library. Their life total really doesn't matter very much in, in this matchup. I'm assuming they're just gonna activate Ascanta, yeah. What does is, is it guild mage do again? I'm trying to remember. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. Copy target sorcery spell. Why do you think it would be good against with spellseeker? It only copies your spells, right? I just think it's too too clunky. Too clunky for me. The activations are are pretty expensive. What did they reveal? Brainstorm. Okay. Not a counter spell. I'm gonna try to go for it. It just snap resolved. That's probably they probably just F sex their turn. We're definitely jamming here though. Oops, let's cancel this for a second and float some mana. Oops, that's got to be green. All right, fingers crossed. It usually finds tutors. Most most of the actual combo cards are more expensive than two. Hopefully this works. Whereas Cantaing. 
Oh, their teachings. Oh no. That's bad. Yeah, I've been really impressed with the expansion explosion actually. That's a card that could definitely go into this deck. Could definitely go into this deck. Lav Trance, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I've played it in Blue Moon as well. I have enjoyed it quite a bit. So they have two mana open, so they can get basically any counter spell they want, and it'll work. Except for Spell Snare, I suppose. I don't know if Shadow of Doubt was the one. I guess it draws them a card. But I can just choose to sacrifice no lands, so this doesn't... It's not like this is one-sided Armageddon or anything. Might as well get Shadow of Doubt, because it, uh, it draws a card, though, I guess. Probably going to be hard to come back from this one now. Just figured with Sylvan Library and Ascanto, it was only getting worse over time for us, so. Stasis Arbiter says, when I watched your RNA review and you guys talked about Electro Dominance, I slammed it in my standard Is it deck and managed to cast it on my opponent's end step, X equals six to play Niv Mizzet on their end step. Oh, that is, that is quite something. Electro Dominance is another card I'd like to try in this deck. I haven't updated it, ate it, updated any of my decks with new cards yet. So they're brainstorming in response to their Sylvan Library, which lets them Sylvan Library with their brainstorm cards. But I don't, I don't think that actually does much. Like, if you Sylvan Library and draw a bunch of cards and then brainstorm, you see six cards. Whereas you just usually end up seeing less cards this way. Yeah, I, d I don't really like brainstorming there, but doesn't doesn't make too much sense to me. Just doesn't accomplish a whole lot. Demonic Tutor. Well, Yeah, that, that could be another good home for Electro Dominance in like a hybrid control deck with Twin or Kiki combo. All right. Try to run out this Eternal Witness. may concede soon just because I think the odds of us winning this game are very low and I want to try to get the stream done by around five if I go a little over that's not a not a huge deal but I do have dinner commitments tonight so I can't can't let it run too late mystic confluence yeah I'm not going to concede to that one. I don't think Electro Dominance is too strong. Giving instant speed to some cards is, is very good, but if you're like putting in a Kiki Jiki or a Splinter Twin, that's six or seven mana. 
a huge investment. Seasons passed? Holy crap. All right, we'll skip to that one. Good enough. You got me. Would have liked to see what their deck did, but I was convinced I'd lost that game, and I'm just just the time crunch. I want to try to want to try to get this match done. I'm going to keep this hand. It's not amazing, but it has a bunch of ramp spells, so relatively priced into keeping here. Judge's Tower is really fun. Forever backwards. Thanks for thanks for following. Playing this deck online is so much nicer than playing it in paper because of the amount of times you have to you have to shuffle in paper. You can you you can often sort of join the shuffles together, but it could definitely be a pain. Yeah, take it. It is it is good to be able to do that, but uh, I think calling something too strong is uh, calling that too strong is a bit of a push. Forever backwards. Thanks so much for the the subscription. Much appreciated, friend. Yeah, Highlander in general often often requires a lot of shuffling, but. We can win in two turns if all goes well. I don't think I want to transmute yet. Yeah, that's something a lot of the Canadian Highlander players have, have thought would be a, a really strong... Uh, ability in or a strong deck in Auslander slash Hulk it's pointed much lower in Auslander than it is in uh than it is in Canlander. I do think dual lands are worth more than their weight in gold, but I I could be wrong. Them being light makes them more likely to be worth their weight in gold. I don't think I'm prepared to just jam yet. I'm going to try to impulse for interaction. Negate will do. And and just jamming here. They're at 19, so wouldn't have worked anyways. Me? Yeah, transmute is sorcery only, Squeagle. Nimble obstructionist to counter my clutch the Undercity transmute. Man, we even had negate for the Shadow of Doubt, but that was a rough one. Oh 
Oh boy. All right, so you need a need a pretty expensive magic card in order to for it to be worth their weight in 24k gold, but um I have 11 mountains. Playing this one puts me down to eight. I'm gonna hold this land for now in case I wanna escape shift and then play a land for an extra trigger. This bonfire can also deal some damage at some point maybe. Oh, never mind. It's 75 US USD. All right, yeah. So lots of magic cards are worth their weight in gold, I guess. It's basically every every dual land. Intuition. This should, well, depends, depends. I don't think we win this turn. I think we win next turn, which is tricky. see what we get here yeah flood that makes sense trying to tap us out of blue mana i'll try to flood back the shift now try to save up as much mana as i can on the actual combo turn next turn don't negate that Hopefully don't get spell snared or, or pierced, but maybe I should have played this land to play around spell pierce. Should have thought about that a bit more probably. Field of Ruin. I'm ruined. Woof. Now we need to find Snapcaster or Eternal Witness. Our opponents just had our number this match, I think. I still have six cards in hand. We're in rough shape. Consecrated Sphinx could be good. We will not shuffle. This gets countered, I think we're just scooping it up though. Thanks, eggplant emoji. We're just just finishing up. This is 
likely the last game we are playing. Might be the last turn even. Yep. All right. Godbug controlled.